डॉक्टर आस्था गरबा आई बी प्रेजेंटिंग माई पेपर ऑन दैल्युएशन ऑफ एम आर सी पी इन बिलेरी ऑब्सट्रक्शन विद ई आर सी पी एंड हिस्टोपैथोलॉजिकल को रिलेशन आई बी डूइंग इट अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ डॉक्टर वर्षा मैम हु इज अ प्रोफेसर ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी एंड डॉक्टर कृष्णा तेजा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ रेडियोलॉजी the aims and objectives include uh, to evaluate the efficacy of mrcp as a diagnostic tool as compared to ercp in diagnosing extra hepatic biliary abnormalities like cholelithiasis strictures and malignancies uh, to evaluate the efficacy of mrcp in diagnosing ancillary findings like gallstone disease biliary ductal dilatation and abnormalities of the pancreatic duct and to correlate the findings with histopath if available obstructive jaundice is caused by biliary obstruction which is due to blockage in any of the ducts that carry bile from liver to gall bladder and then to the small intestine uh, the causes of uh, obstructive jaundice uh, can be divided into intrahepatic and extrahepatic intrahepatic the most common causes are hepatitis cirrhosis and hcc extrahepatic can again be divided into intraductal and extraductal intraductal includes uh, neoplasm cholelithiasis biliary strictures and pri uh, primary sclerosing cholangitis extraductal include neoplasms ne uh, pancreatitis and cystic duct stones which is also known as merizzi syndrome so the commonest cause of obstructive jaundice is stones obstruction of the biliary tract is a common clinical problem which requires accurate localization and discrimination of the pathology in the evaluation of a suspected biliary obstruction the initial choice of investigation remains as trans abdominal ultrasound due to its ready availability non invasiveness and inexpensiveness the excellent clue in finding biliary obstruction in ultrasound has been ductal dilatation however a uh, usg cannot identify the cause and level of the obstruction accurately it is operator dependent procedure and there might be suboptimal imaging of the retroperitoneal structures due to the overlying bowel gases now magnetic resonance cholangiopancreatography mrcp was initially introduced in the year 1991 and has been improved since then to the point where it is considered at par with endo endoscopy retrograde cholangiopancreatography which is ercp it can help not only to identify the obstruction but also demonstrate the nature of the pathology so mrcp refers to the selective fluid sensitive magnetic resonance imaging of pancreatic and biliary ducts also when conventional t1 and t2 weighted sequences are combined together detection, detection of the extra ductal diseases by mrcp is possible so if we compare um, ERCP and uh, MRCP. However, ERCP is considered as the gold standard. It is still an invasive procedure. It requires endoscopic cannulation, sedation, and the use of ionizing radiation. It is uh, filled with uh, complications such as hemorrhage, sepsis, pancreatitis, bile leak, and mortality. Whereas MRCP is non-invasive, radiation-free, non-operator dependent, multi-multi-planar uh, imaging modality. so in uh, our prospective study we wish to determine the diagnostic efficacy of mrcp considering ercp as a gold standard and whether e mrcp can replace ercp for diagnosis while ercp can solely be reserved for therapeutic applications so materials and methods a prospective study of 50 consecutive patients with biliary obstruction referred for mrcp with subsequent assessment by ercp and histopathology were included the study was conducted at mri and ercp units in a tertiary care center mrcp scanner used was 1.5t scanner using an in house 16 channel body coil pre procedure preparation included 6 hour duration of fasting which helps in promoting the filling of gall bladder usually takes about 20 minutes to complete the full examination uh, the sequences which were taken were uh, localizer in three planes axial t1 in phase trophy axial t2 haste fat sat coronal t2 haste fat sat thick slab haste and 3d volume respirator triggered mrcp which was taken in two planes coronal section in plane with cbd and axial section in plane with pancreatic duct mrcp was performed prior to ercp which was then performed by a well trained and experienced endoscopist cholangiographs were obtained and compared with the mrcp findings considering ercp as gold standard the sensitivity specificity positive and negative predictive values of mrcp was evaluated Uh, if available correlation with the histopathology was also made so coming to the results um, this is the pie chart which shows the percentage of the population uh, according to the age group 
and the highest patients were noted in the age group of 46 to 55 years of age. Uh, in sex distribution, uh, we found that females were more predominantly the patients with uh, uh, biliary obstruction. Uh, this histogram shows the number of patients in which the pathologies were detected in the in our study population. So the commonest pathologies were bile duct dilatation, cholelithiasis, which was 56 percent, strictures, and malignancies. Um, here we can we are showing the sensitivity and specificity of both MRCP and ERCP. We are uh, this histogram shows a comparison between them. So we found that the sensitivity of MRCP was 87.5 uh, percent for cholelithiasis. It was 100 percent for CBD uh, malignancy and IHBR strictures. 84.6 percent for CBD strictures and it was 100 percent for biliary duct dilatation. Coming to the specificity, we found that MRCP was 100% specific for polydopolithiasis, IHBR strictures, and CBD malignancies. However, it was 92% specific in detecting CBD strictures and 98% in detecting cholelithiasis. So the aim of our study was to assess the diagnostic efficacy of MRCP as a diagnostic imaging modality compared to invasive ERCP in the diagnosis of bile duct abnormalities using specificity, sensitivity and positive and negative predictive values. If our results favor MRCP, then diagnostic ERCP could be completely avoided and MRCP can be used as investigation of choice for diagnosing biliary abnormalities while ERCP is reserved uh, only for therapeutic purpose solely. So in cases of CBD strictures, CBD stones and ampullary stones, MRCP was comparable to ERCP. The study conducted by Nairi Griffin et al. reported sensitivity of 91 to 100% in detecting CBD strictures, whereas the sensitivity attained in our study was slightly lower, which was 84%. However, it was comparable to other studies and it falls within the overall sensitivity range of studies carried out worldwide. For ampullary tumor sensitivity of uh, MRCP and ERCP was equivalent, which may be fallacious considering the small sample size. It was higher than the study conducted by Palmos et al., where the sensitivity and specificity was 183% respectively. Therefore, they recommended that ERCP in detecting ampullary carcinoma. Therefore, they recommend ERCP in detecting ampullary carcinoma, uh, whereas our study is more in the favor of MRCP. Additionally, MRCP was found to have uh, to be better in delineating the extent of the tumor and extra, extra biliary extension. ERCP may just show the level of the block, however, the proximal extent and the involvement of the adjacent structures could not be evaluated. We found that MRCP has high diagnostic accuracy and is equivalent to ERCP in diagnosing abnormalities like IHBS strictures and CBD tumors. For uh, the lower biliary tract abnormalities like ampullary strictures and pancreatic ductal abnormalities, MRCP was found to have lower sensitivity. Ancillary findings like intrahepatic biliary uh, radical dilatation and gallstone diseases are well demonstrated on MRCP. So we concluded that MRCP is the method of choice for diagnostic Im uh, imaging of biliary tree and ERCP reserved for therapeutic intervention in this setting. As common pathologies such as stones, strictures, malignancies in upper biliary tract can be easily identified with high specificity in, on ER, MRCP. In cases where histopathology were available, that is in case of tumors, MRCP showed high specificity as well as sensitivity. The results of we obtained in our study were comparable to pioneer studies conducted worldwide. Coming to the images, uh, this is an anatomy an image showing the normal anatomy of the biliary tree in which we can see the intrahepatic biliary radicals forming a right and left hepatic duct which uh, join together to form the common hepatic duct. This common hepatic duct is joined by the cystic duct to form the common bile duct. We can see that this thin uh, line is the uh, main pancreatic duct which uh, joins with CBD and they both open into the uh, second part of the duodenum. Here is the image showing ERCP of the same anatomy where we can see that uh, these are the intrahepatic biliary radicals, uh, common hepatic duct, this is cystic duct and then we, uh, our CBD is formed and this thin line is the pancreatic duct. 
So coming to the pathologies, uh, these are coronal images of MRCP in which we can see that uh, there are filling defects within the common bile duct, which are these uh, savory stones. And here these are confirmed on the ERCP. Again, uh, here they are sh shown as uh, filling defects within the CBD. Uh, here we can see that uh, there is a CBD stricture which is seen as narrowing of the duct. Here also uh, we can see that the uh, CBD is narrowed and uh, which is uh, which is a CBD stricture. Uh, here we can see that there are uh, there is moderate dilatation of the intrahepatic biliary radicals and there is abrupt cutoff of the biliary channels at the site of formation of the common hepatic duct. So these are MRCP and ERCP images uh, showing features of a CBD tumor. Um, here we can see that uh, there is upstream dilatation of the uh, CBD and uh, this is being caused due to um, ampullary mass lesion because of which there is proximal dilatation of the whole biliary tree. One limitation which of our study was that we had a small study population owing to the difficulty in collecting patients who underwent both ERCP and MRCP as most of the patients after ultrasound are directly subjected to, the ER, to ERCP. Uh, these are the references which I have used for my paper.